Before operating the machine, thoroughly read safety and operation information in the operator's manual. Clean and service the machine according to recommendations in the operator's manual. Sit in the seat and fasten the seat belt. Move the multifunction lever into the neutral zone at the midpoint of lever travel. The parking brake is automatically applied in this lever position. The fan and cleaner and header engagement switches must be confirmed to be in the center off position. Sound the horn and alert okay. bystanders of potential machine startup and movement. Wait a few seconds and listen for response before cranking the engine. Turn the key switch to the start position. Release when the engine starts, allowing the key to return to the run position. If the engine does not start, allow the starter to cool for two to three minutes before further attempts to start. The cold start aid button is on the left rear side of the top of the steering column. See the cold weather operation section in the operator's manual for complete cold start use instructions. Engine RPM is controlled with three buttons located on the armrest control module. The turtle button sets low idle speed. The outline rabbit increases engine RPM to a medium RPM level and the solid rabbit increases RPM to full throttle. Operators also note that when in the low idle speed setting, the engine speed will automatically increase when the multifunction lever is moved out of the neutral position. Operate the engine at low idle for two to four minutes to gradually approach operating temperature. To further warm up the engine and hydraulics, engage the fan and cleaner and header. Speed the engine up to high idle and depress the floor switch to operate the cotton handling system and RMB for approximately five minutes. Confirm the area is clear of bystanders and other equipment or objects before initiating any machine movement. Before moving the machine, raise row units to maximum height by pressing and holding the upper part of the left switch on the multifunction lever. The parking brake operates in either of two modes, manual or automatic. By default, the brake is in manual mode at startup and the indicator light will be on steady. Press the button to enter automatic mode. When the multifunction lever is in neutral, the brake is applied and the light will flash. Moving the lever out of neutral disengages the brake, the light goes out, and the machine will move. The field road mode button is used in conjunction with the transmission range 1 and 2 buttons, providing the operator with four transmission speed ranges. In field mode, the 1 and 2 buttons select harvest speed ranges, and in road mode, transport speed ranges are selected. Moving the multifunction lever forward from the neutral zone engages the hydrostatic ground drive in the forward direction. Move the lever to the right edge of the neutral zone and rearward to move the machine in reverse. To set a maximum speed in either field range, press and hold the desired range button for two seconds. The command center displays a max ground speed screen for that range. Turn the selection dial to set the maximum ground speed for that range. Press the enter button to confirm the setting and close the screen. With the machine in harvest configuration and the engine at low idle speed, push down and forward on the left switch to engage the cotton fan and cleaner. Push down and forward on the right switch to engage the header. Increase engine RPM to high idle and select the desired transmission range. While moving the machine into position at the row end, lower units by pressing and releasing the header lower switch or the header height resume button on the multifunction lever. Once on the row and harvesting crop, press the top of the auto button 
to engage the module builder operation. Press the row guidance enable button on the armrest, followed by the yellow button on the multifunction lever to engage row sense guidance. Refer to the row guidance operation section for complete information. In the auto mode, the module building cycle will automatically execute when the accumulator is full. Build cycles will repeat until the module reaches the set module diameter. The wrap cycle will automatically start when the set module diameter is reached. The command center will display a notice advising the operator the module is wrapped and ready to be ejected from the RMB. After confirming there are no overhead obstructions present, the operator must press and release the top of the auto button to initiate ejection. The module icon moves from the RMB to the handler as the module is ejected. When the operator is ready to drop the module on the ground, continue moving and press down on the rear of the handler switch until a detent position is felt. Release the switch and the handler will lower to the ground. Once the handler is clear of the module, press up on the handler switch to the detent position. Release the switch and the handler will return to the harvest position. For more detailed information, refer to the operator's manual.